watching the net.com here with this tutorial on check-in processes, CPU, and memory utilization on Ubuntu. Just like Windows, Ubuntu has a tool similar to Task Manager called System Monitor. To start System Monitor, you can either just press Alt F2 to bring up the run box and type gnome-system-monitor, press run, or you can just go up to your menu here and system administration oops bring that back up system administration and system monitor now system monitor has four tabs in it first one is your system tab which displays a your release version in this case I'm running feisty 7.04 tells you to, uh, your hardware just list two uh, items memory and the type of processor you have and your system status which is just available disk space it's not much of that tab but it's useful in finding out this information the next tab is processes tab which is the most useful processes tab lists all running processes on your system now the default view for processes is just the current user which is my processes if you want to see all running processes on the system you can press or uh, select all process and it will give you a very detailed view of all processes running. Uh, the other view that you can have is active processes with just listing any uh, processes running in the background and if they're taking up any resources in this case as you can see this is a VMware session I'm running Yuba 2 in and right now GNOME is taking up about 3% of the CPU. So let's go back to my processes and what you can do here is there's several things. Um, if you want to select different columns, you can go Edit, Preferences, and down here in the Information field, you can select what, or what columns you want. I highly recommend the command line because this will show you where the process lives, what directory the process lives, and the command line string that was used to start it. And this is very helpful uh, in learning. Uh, how to uh, use Ubuntu or Linux from the command line. So select command line. If there's any other uh, columns you want to add, you can. But for now, I like to default plus that. And you can just click OK to add that. And let me expand this a little more so you can see that command. There you go. And as you can see, it gives you a nice uh, view of what where that command was. Now, a couple other things you can do. You can also reorder these columns, and you can do that by just clicking on the column in the, the column header and just dragging it wherever you want. So, say you want memory over here, you can do that. Just do that. There you go. So, I want to switch them around. I want CPU first. I can do that. Another nice thing is you can uh, order these. So if you click on process name and you want to order by alphabetical order, you can, and that'll list everything there. Uh, if you have a process that's uh, taking up a lot of CPU usage, just click on that, and that'll tell you order by the highest uh, processes that are using utilization. Same with memory. This is also very useful if you want to see which processes are using up the most memory. Uh, another nice thing you can do is um, you can right click on it. You can stop the process, continue, end it, or kill it. You can change its priority. And another uh, f useful feature here is this open files. But I just click on that and it'll tell you any temporary files the process has open and any other kind of files that it has. Uh, again, this is very useful in becoming familiar with how uh, Yuba 2 works its internals. So just close that. Uh, the other tab here is resources. This is just like Task Manager, except you get a couple different views here. You'll get a CPU, memory, and it'll also show you bandwidth utilization. Uh, just cut off there. Uh, the file system tab just lists uh, any partitions and any external devices that you have, such as you, if you had a USB drive, it would show that. Right now, I just have one hard drive, one partition, and a CD-ROM. Now, what you can also do is, if you want, you can add System Monitor to the panel here and 
you can add it by just right clicking and select add to panel um, let's uh, scroll down to I believe it's hardware section let's see where we at here yes go down to hardware is system and hardware and if we scroll down just a little bit more we'll see system monitor there it is just double click on it or click add and you get a little graph that displays up here and just mouse over it tells you what the percentage of processor you can also change the settings on this by just right clicking selecting preference uh, you can change uh, the color for each uh, tab, memory, network, swap space, etc, etc. Uh, also you can uh, change the width and the update interval. And you can select it for each um, resource that you want to monitor. And this is a great, great little utility up here to have. You can also just by double clicking on the icon here, it'll open up System Monitor itself. So that's how you check uh, processes and uh, CPU memory and network utilization on Ubuntu. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial from watching the net.com.